lovely year signs. Welcome to Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. This is your guided intuitive reading for November the 28th right through to December the uh, 4th. And I hope you enjoy it. So if it resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, doesn't matter. Watch another lovely reader. So I've already done all the tarot cards here to save time on the video. But then I have got guided messages here um, for... Uh, oops, it's just out of the camera, isn't it? Never mind. Um, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Okay, so let's start off the week with a message from our lovely Louise Hay. At least three times a day, I stand with my arms wide open and say, I am willing to let the love in. It is safe to let the love in. I am worth loving. I am worth loving. Okay. Right, so if you've got a 28 in your uh, birth chart, that relates to a 1. You like to do things uniquely, you're a great problem solver. The only downside is if you get worried, you will overthink things and they'll go round and round in your head. And then that's the time where you write your problems down, write down the pros and cons to get it out of your head. It goes through to the 4th, if you've got a 4, you like to have lists, you like to have things planned, you like to have things organised. But every so often you'll break out of that and go and do something completely different and have some fun. Okay, so what's happening for you guys? So, mixed bag here, very interesting. Um, justice, so you start off the week with justice. So some of you have got contracts, new, new things to sign, legal papers, things like that. And I feel it's going to come through quite suddenly. Um, and it's going to be slightly overwhelming. So we've got the tower card right next to it. That was the clarifier. So this is where you're getting the justice that you deserve. For some of you, if it's not legal papers, you're what you've been wanting, getting the balance back in your life, getting the justice in your life that you deserve is coming to you. And that brings about a healing because the towers next to it, I feel that it's going to come out of the blue and happen quite quickly. So I asked for clarifiers for those and you have got the seven of cups and the ten of cups. So that's great. Whatever's going to happen is going to seem like it's quite overwhelming. Your cups are full. You've got lots of choices. You will always be on the right path of where you are supposed to be. So don't worry. But I love this pack of cards because she's pointing to the one star. It's a reminder to stay focused. Stay focused on your dreams because sevens are all about learning and um, overcoming any fears, false emotions appearing real. So you're overcoming those fears and stay focused, okay? Even in times where you might feel a bit overwhelmed, sit down, maybe write the lists. And next to it too, as another clarifier, is the Ten of Cups. So um, whatever is coming in for you is going to make you feel absolutely contented, happy, safe, happy relationship, okay? And actually for some of you I can see here, looking at the general big picture, some of you are going through like a breakup or someone's been deceiving you. You've got a bit of a broken heart, you're learning from that, but then you've got the new beginnings of the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So it could be a broken heart to do with um, missing out on a house, somebody lying to you, a broken um, like relationship. So lots of things, you can choose which one suits you. So we move on to the Three of Pentacles. So you've got where you've been working with other people, waiting to see the results for all your hard work. And this can be to do with in a job or it could be to do with whatever it is that makes you feel safe and secure. You've been putting the work in and working with other people. But it comes in slowly, but you will get the rewards because look at the growth there. It will come in and actually right next to it there's more. And so um, it will come in slowly. But for some of you, if you're thinking of starting something new, Seven of Swords, this is where you keep your recipes, your ideas close to your chest because someone might be um, thinking of copying you or stealing things from you. For the rest of you, this is where you've had that sort of thing happen to you in the past. So it can be to do for some of you to do with relationships where people have lied, cheated, um, people steal from you, you know, all sorts of horrible things like that. But you are now keeping that knowledge close to your chest, you're moving forward. This can represent changing jobs, changing homes, but also definitely about looking at things completely differently. Again, a seven, learning. So you learn your lessons from all of these experiences that you've gone through, and now you can apply those lessons. So it's about using what you've learned to carry forward in a positive manner, okay? 
but then you've got or and then you've got the knight of wands so something's coming through someone's been jumping through hoops to give you some sort of information that you've been waiting for either information or um, an invite or something like that but it's coming through really fast and I think it's um, something that you've been wanting um, you're, you're sitting there looking at everybody like jumping through the hips, hoops and going look at me this is what you really really want it's coming um, it's going to help you come out of the dark into the light and then right next to it is the page of wands so whatever that um, is that you can either be planning a trip or planning a new adventure planning a new job, planning something like that. This is information you've been waiting for, but look at that. Look at it closely. Look through the, um, uh, the um, oh, here he is up here, the magnifying glass. Just take a close look at it. Make sure everything's in order. It's kosher, um, especially as we get further into December um, when things, Mercury goes retrograde, but at the moment Mars is retrograde in Gemini, and Gemini is all about communication. So often communication can be misconstrued. And that's where you've got your seven of swords coming in there, the three of swords as well, where things get taken the wrong way. So just be careful, look at the fine print. Okay, you have got clarifying the knight of wands too, the king of pentacles. That information that you've been waiting for, it might be the contract to do with buying a house, um, a contract for a new job or signing up for a new course next year. But it's going to make you feel happy, safe, secure. Here you are, the rest of you reaping the rewards now or all of you are reaping the rewards for all your hard work from what you've been doing in the last year you're starting to see that now and you're starting to feel a lot happier and a lot content a lot more content and you've got the full card that um, is underneath the page of wands so this new information comes in and you've got this new beginning so this is like jump in where others fear to go just go for it it's a new beginning and covering the whole thing is Feeling this um, bit of sadness for some of you, others of you, you've got choices to make and one of those decisions involves a separation. So some of you might be going off to university and it will be in another city or you might be taking a job in another city and you're separating from family. For others of you, you've been you know, lied to, cheated to um, and still carrying that bit of a broken heart there. But you're learning from it. This is about learning that you're never alone. The Hierophant is blessing from above and it bodes well for all sorts of marriages and relationships as well. But you're sitting there learning and becoming very wise. This is about connecting to your higher self and the higher information that's up there in the universe that's already there. And if you sit alone quietly, you can connect to that and you will be learning. And then that's going to bring about the beginning of the Ace of Cups, new happiness, the beginning of new happiness, feeling so much more contented. Isn't that lovely? So you've got the Ten of Cups and you've got the Ace of Cups and you've got the Justice card. So even if you're not signing documents, justice will be served and you'll be feeling a lot happier. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys. And I'll just move these over a bit so we can see them more on the camera. I hope. Yep, just about. Oh, well. Okay, so now we go on to what do you need to know? We're using Tony Carmine Saluno's um, lovely angels, gods and goddesses this week. And he channels the art and channels the words. This is him. Oh, actually, that's him. I love his stuff because it's often, you know, really, really um, apt at the time. Okay, so Gemini, you've got angel of families. Isn't that lovely? That is at Angel of Families. Okay. Hope you can see that. Beautiful Angel of Families. The angels surround both you and your family at the moment. Do not worry about your family or your loved ones, for all will work out. Okay. The angels surround you and your family at this time. Feel their love and light and know that both you and your loved ones are forever held in the internal, eternal embrace of love. Surrender your fears and any concerns you may have for your family, a family member or a loved one to the angels and know that the situation is being healed and transformed right now. Gently close your eyes. Feel and visualize those you love being bathed in light and love. Imagine beams of love emanating from your heart and mind, infusing and surrounding each family member and loved one with beautiful healing energy. 
in turn feel the light and love they emanate to you in return and thank the angels for their assistance. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so that's that. And today I'm using the cat cards, the cat wisdom cards. Courage. Meow. I'm a cat lady. Have the courage to do what you know is right. So this will pertain to some situation that you know what it is. Move forward with confidence, knowing that there are no mistakes, only experiences from which to learn and grow. All right, Gemini. And your angel message is, seeing a butterfly is confirmation that your nature spirits are working with you. They also represent transformation as well. Okay, right. Um, and I'll just write down the timestamp for Libra. Whoops. Uh, right, Libra. What have you got? Oh, Angel of Nutrition. Uh oh. Angel of Diet and Nutrition. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. You intuitively know what is good for you. You are being urged to pay attention to what you eat and drink. Make sure you maintain a balanced diet. Remember, you intuitively know what is good for you. Simply pay attention, be mindful, all in moderation. Especially at this time of the year, there's so many Christmas things on, it's very easy to eat junk food, isn't it? You are also being urged to pay attention to your thoughts. Healthy nutrition is not solely derived from what we eat and drink, it also stems from our thoughts. Positive and loving thoughts are just as nourishing as good food and drink. Let go of every fearful and negative thought and replace all with love. There's nothing to fear, Libra. Okay. And then you have a cat card that is solitude. Solitude. Great peace can be found in solitude. Set aside some time each day, even if it's only five minutes, to be alone. You will calm your mind and attain a new sense of clarity. All right, Libra. And your message from the angels, life is too short, focus on what you can achieve, not what you haven't. Very important, Libra, okay, so think positive. Okay, and we've got um, Aquarius, hello Aquarius, what have you got this month, week? Angel of communication, angel of communication for you guys. Beautiful, my favourite colours, look at that, isn't it beautiful? Communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to say it like it is. One of your major lessons in this lifetime is to learn to communicate what you want clearly. You assume that those around you know what you want or how you feel. Yet the truth is that they do not. But because of your failure to communicate honestly and clearly, those around you often end up confused or at best having to guess what it is that you want, feel or expect. Do not be afraid to say it like it is. You cannot lose anything by simply stating your truth. You do not need, oh, this is a long one. <laughs> you do not need to blame or accuse others in order to speak your truth. Just state your case clearly. Underlying this whole issue is a fear of not being accepted or not gaining the approval of others. And therefore, you are often afraid to speak up. Know that it is an act of love unto yourself and others to communicate clearly, lovingly and honestly. The Angel of Communication is here to help you work through this issue. Through this process, you will honour and empower yourself and gain much respect and love from others. All right. And your lovely cat card this week is Security. Lovely uh, family card. There you are, Aquarius. Look at you. You are seeking a sense of security and protection. Trust that you are safe and look inside yourself to find the courage to move forward despite your fears. All right? Another angel whispers message. Like an eagle, it is your time to soar. Do not fear uh, that you will fall and do not fear that you will fail either. Okay? Okay, lovelies, I hope this has resonated with you and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week and a lovely Christmas, but I'll be doing another reading before then. So blessings to you all and thank you so much for watching. See you all again. Ka kidia.